planning a live music event takes a lot of time and effort and it's essential to have an event management timeline. In an event management timeline uh, you need to mark out uh, key milestones within that timeline and allow enough contingency time in case things go wrong. Uh, some of the ways you can keep yourself out of trouble is ensuring that you're having weekly meetings with your team if not more, always catching up, always keeping in contact with the people that you're working with to make sure that they're on track, um, keep a diary or keep a, an excel sheet of your timelines. It's really important to be realistic about the timelines that you've set within your event management timeline and after the show to review those timelines and perhaps correct anything for the next show that you're running. Programming a show is uh, the process we go through to uh, book the talent that's going into the show. In terms of creative programming, it's really important to um, ensure that you place the order of your acts in a way that it builds towards a crescendo at the end of the night towards the headline. To effectively program an event or show, you usually put your smaller bands on first, so you might get some local talent and then you work your way up so you'd have your top build act or your headline act um, as the last act of the day. Aside from the live music entertainment aspect, there may be other things that you want to provide to your audience. It's always important to engage your audience from doors open through to door close. Other things that might complement are other local support acts, decor, and other event functions. For example, showcasing other talent like sport can be really important to your event. In the past, we've done skate installations, BMX tracks, rides and many other activities. These are all considerations you should have when organising your live music event. 